How many of you are very active in forums and communities? What sort of forums do you use? Uh, I mean, give me the names of the forums. <laughs> All right. So uh, CG Tantra, that's great. I'm sorry. Okay. That's not a forum. Gamespot is uh, it's more of an industry website. Okay. All right. So I'll give my observations. Oh, this is this is a great way to learn. Uh, I'm not sure how many of you share your artwork with your uh, peers, you know, get reviews from your friends. Most of the time, I've seen a lot of students, they, they shy away from uh, showing their artwork to, to their uh, uh, mates. They don't uh, share their artwork. Only if you show your artwork, you, uh, you get a different perspective. Because let's say you're making a level or an environment which takes you a month to make. You're so used to the level, which means you can't even identify what is wrong in the level. So you have to give it a very uh, fresh perspective. That's usually the role of art director. He makes sure that he sees the big picture. So uh, he, the moment he sees the level, he can easily identify the flaws in the level. So uh, this should be done in your case also. If you're making a character, make sure you show that to your, uh, uh, to your uh, friends or your staff members. You have to get comments and critiques. And uh, this is a great way to develop your skill sets. How many of you know this community? One, two, three, <coughs> all right. Okay, I'm not sure uh, why, because this is a great community. This is one of the elite uh, game art communities which I've ever seen. Uh, this has all the professionals. Uh, this is a free community to join. So this is a great community where you can post your artworks, professional people, they review your works, we have workshops happening, so uh, try and visit Polycount, this is a very good community. Of course you have CG Tantra, which is great, uh, CG Society, equally good, and uh, Zebra Central. So these forums give you a different perspective, so you're not stuck with your own, uh, own views, that's very important. So to quickly sum up what industry wants, industry really want uh, people with passion. I'm sure you guys have all the passion to create games, which is very good. Uh, you have to have a lot of dedication because uh, you might seem to have the passion now. I have done this a lot of times. I some of sometimes get a great idea, sit in front of the computer thinking that I should make this content. Somehow I get distracted. I walk away. Then that whole idea is gone. So you have to have the dedication. I mean, you cannot do all this goof up when you're working for a company, but uh, you have to have the dedication. No egos. You cannot say that uh, the art I made is the best. No. People will rip apart. So please be ready for that. You have to learn constantly. Uh, you have to sacrifice a lot of enjoyable inefficiencies. Let's say once you join a company, you cannot keep playing Counter-Strike in the lunchtime. You cannot keep playing Counter-Strike throughout the day. That's, that's quite bad. So. Uh, you have to transform this uh, passion or I should say obsession into something which is useful. Create out of uh, what you get inspired. So let's say you like a level in Counter-Strike, try and remake it. There's no harm in doing that. So which is, which is part of your learning. Teamwork and collaboration is very, very important. And lastly, please eat, sleep and uh, breathe video games. I do this. Uh, we are hiring. We are having a, we are a hiring spree. <laughs> so uh, you can post your uh, profiles, demos to this email address. You will get the response in a day. Any uh, questions? I think I'm done. Any questions? No questions? Yes. Please, please get a mic. talking about uh, international games and Indian games and the kind of games they produce, the kind of games we produce. Uh, 
when when while playing desi adda you say it's for only for casual gamers right but desi adda was not at all interactive when uh, when a gamer like me i play all games it's nothing that i'm a hardcore gamer i don't play those kind of games all right there was no it was very less interactive uh, while playing that game that's why desi adda didn't get desi adda had a good contact it had a good uh, gameplay everything but the models the interactive with the gamers was very less yes uh, so uh you mean to say uh, the uh, game had uh, or lacked interaction yes yeah so that's a very good question uh, we i mean as i said in what went wrong section uh, we faced a lot of technical uh, issues with integrating our artwork in, into the uh, into the game engine uh, we started the game uh, creating uh, 3d worlds where uh, we thought of okay let's build a small village uh let's do a free roaming mode in the game where the user can go to any like more like a grand theft auto the user can go to any part of the uh, village and explore or play games that's how we started but we weren't able to pull out that and uh, we had to lean back to this idea of having uh, billboard backgrounds so we had uh, very limited content as uh, 3d in the screen and most of the backgrounds that you see in the game are mostly rendered out as static images and placed so this i believe was one of the major reasons uh, that lacked i mean that didn't give you the interaction okay yeah. and uh, one more thing was uh, the difference between uh, models uh, the reality of the models like the mo- uh, if you compare crisis uh-huh. or if you compare any of the small game which they see at the, the models are completely different well uh, the kind of reality mm-hmm. touch i couldn't see in the they see at the, which i was expecting well the platform itself was uh, Uh, completely different right uh, you are comparing uh, uh, a top of the line next generation content which is running on the most powerful computers in the world versus a 10 year old technology like ps2 obviously there's a lot of sophistication difference so uh, when you are comparing a game i don't think you do that uh, in that fashion so uh, obviously you know that uh, the kind of technology that you use or the platform is not as sophisticated uh, as a technology like crange in or your high end computer so uh, the is it depends on what sort of treatment that you give it to the game so uh, every game has its own visual treatment which you call it as art direction all the time so uh, if you look at a game like uh, let's say there's there's a game called 13 on the ps2 have you played that it was a it is a first person shooter on the ps2 it was completely uh, cel shaded first person shooter is supposed to be very realistic right that's what we put to the game they made the entire game to look cartoonic so it it depends on the uh, visual treatment that you try and give it to the game and this is something you have to decide very early in the production which is something you decide in the pre production uh, you do something called the mood scripts whenever you create an environment or a level the concept artist needs to create a mood script so he paints out the level and uh, gives it that visual treatment so that determines the look of the game so rea- realism is uh, very subjective and that that bar is closing nowadays a game like gran turismo is very hard to say whether the game is, uh, is is it a game or is it real so technology is getting there so it depends on what you want out of these games of course a game like gran turismo is a simulation it has to have that edge of realism right uh, and one more thing that you also talk about uh, people shying away from all these yeah. forums and they don't yeah. uh, post their artworks in yeah any suggestions to all the students around how they can overcome it because now also if i visit forums i hardly see any uh, indian uh, exactly uh, modeler or texture artists coming out and sh- showcasing their work they just come come and oh it's a good work that's it and yes. they never come again i mean that's that's because we shy away uh we always have this uh you know uh, feeling of okay what if my artwork is getting ripped apart it will be getting ripped apart you have to be ready for that that's why we are sitting in the media now right whatever content i mean we are in media now let's say you make a cinema you make any uh, uh, uh media content of course it's made for thousands of people or millions of people they're going to see that some will like it some won't like it so you have to be ready for that so it's it's all in the perception if you change that i'm sure uh, you can overcome that but feel free to post your uh, works in the forum it always helps or at least start show- showcasing your works to your uh, friends you could start it uh, in that way